Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new tutorial video for Conan Exiles. Today we're going to just show you guys a couple of locations where you can get some brimstone. There's been a few people on my server asking me, hey, where can you get brimstone? There are a lot of new people to Conan Exiles now, considering the update just came and a lot of people are a little confused on where to find certain things. So I'm going to help you out the best I can. Now, I might not show you every single location, but I'll show you the ones that are the easiest and the, the ones that I usually use when I play through my game. This is the first area that I usually come to early game. Now, I've just noticed someone's actually built a base here, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but the area is right next to this here. It's just in the cave there. Now, usually brimstone can be found if you go way up to the scattered springs. Uh, it is in C, uh, C8 here. This whole area up here is covered in brimstone, however, it's a little bit dangerous because you need a, a sandstorm mask, I think. Because there are some gases there that affect your, um, your health. So I will show you that location just now. We'll go up there and we will show you guys that you can do it without a mask. It's just a little bit tricky. But the easiest location is this one over here. It's called the Sinner's Refuge. There's actually brimstone inside there. Now I... There might be brimstone in other caves nearby as well, but this is, I think, that the easiest one that I usually grab. So, you gotta just make your way to the Sinner's Refuge. It is in, uh, G... G4, to the right of G4, top right of G4. Yeah, it's a, it's a cave. You gotta be a little, little bit prepared, because there are some, uh, people in there that you're gonna have to kill. So just be a little bit careful, just take it one step at a time, but you can get some brimstone, I think. Okay, there are some people here. Let's just take care of them quickly. Now, obviously, it's going to be easy for me because I'm quite a high level. So it's not a problem. But if you don't want to go all the way into the, the mine, you can actually go ahead and mine the brimstone in the front. Because it does get a little bit harder as you go in. But here is brimstone right here. And just having this little bit early game is quite a bit. And it can help you out quite nicely. See, more brimstone on the side here. Just mine that up. So that's 165. It also depends on what server you're playing and you might get less or more. So just grab that. So yeah, so there you go. That's very easy. You gotta kill those two guys in the front. And then you get these four, three nodes that are in the front here. Yeah, but if you want to continue further into the mine, you can do so, but it can be a little bit difficult. As I will show now. There is a lot of uh guys and yeah i mean there was like one over there one over there one over there one over there so it can be a little bit challenging but obviously i can do it but if you do manage to find a way to get in here you can see there's brimstone all over in these caves let my guy take care there's actually a dancer in here very nice what's this never seen that before let's take care of these guys problem solved and then you have more on the side here yeah, so this is a great place to get it so basing near here is quite nice because you can quickly come and go as you please but yeah we're gonna go around the whole mine here take a look at it there is a uh i think there's a boss at the end of this place as well so you gotta be a little careful what was that what was an arrow hey don't shoot the horse that's not nice of you hang on a second let's just go up here these guys are archers up here which is a little bit better because at least they stay behind and don't come near you that okay so you can really see on my server at least i've already got a stack of brimstone in here and i think my settings are mostly default i'm not too sure about the harvest rate so yeah look look how much is in here it's crazy okay so once you've cleared out the mine you will come across this guy he's a named and he drops this uh hood these nice uh pieces here that you can grab and they light armor but it's it looks pretty cool if you can if you want to transmog it if you've got a mod on but yeah once you manage to do all that you get to kill that guy and you get all the brimstone at the end but i like i said i don't recommend coming all the way to the end of the mine because even that for me was really challenging and i'm level 46 could have died really easy there but if you are good at the game obviously it's not going to be a problem you can just quickly come here and kill them so yeah guys i'm going to take you guys to the next location
Alright guys, we are at our second location. Now this is the most popular location to get your brimstone because there's a hell of a lot of them in here. If you do manage to find yourself a mask to get past the uh, the gases here, that's just great. Um, but I'll show you without the mask as it can be done. You can see all those things in the middle there, all those uh, pointy things. That's all brimstone. There's so much to go around here. There's enough for a lot of players. So I'll show you guys how to get past that though. Um, now the, there, there are ones on the edge like over here that you can grab. Uh, and you can run in for a short time. Make sure you've got some potions, some weak potions will do. Uh, but once you get those done, you can like, over here you don't get effect, so you can knock this, not a problem. You get your brimstone, you also get salt from these things by the way. So you don't get affected, but as soon as you start walking into the stuff, you get affected by the toxic gas. Try not to stay in it for too long. You also gotta worry about the creatures that are in there, so pull them, let them come towards you. And then fight them outside the gas and then make your way in. Watch out for these rock noses guys, they're really strong and they spit out gas, so kill them as quick as you can. Um, and they're also brimstone, so you can actually mine them as well. But just watch out because these, these things are not easy to kill. Uh, well they do a lot of damage, you can see how much brimstone I have from the two places already. You can run out, quick grab it. I've got no mask. And you can run to the next one, grab it. Just like that. And then you can run out, but you can also use the potions while you're inside. But I do think the toxic gas uh, actually stacks, so the longer you're in there, the harder it gets. But let me just show you guys, get back on the horse here. Yeah? Your slave and your horse doesn't get affected by the, t the gases, so it's just you. But if you go around, you can find ones that are easier to grab, if you don't want to go inside the toxic gas. Uh, I think these ones are grabbable, or at least this one's grabbable. You can grab this one on the side without getting affected. Um, even this one as well. So yeah, there's a lot that you can grab without getting affected by the gases. I'll just go around this side and see if there's more. There's a lot of these uh, rock noses. That looks like a crystal one or something. You can see, guys, there's so much brimstone here. It's insane. If you're playing on a PvP server, uh, and if you've got the less building restrictions on, I think you can actually build here without that as well. Uh, if you build a base in the middle of the stuff, it's actually super uh, safe as well. Because whoever wants to get to your base needs a mask, and it will affect them. So it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good spot to build a base, but again, everyone does come here, so you got to watch out for the, uh, the roamers. But yeah, guys, I hope that helped you. I hope you can find your brimstone. I'm going to show you exactly where this is as well, if you're interested. It is in C8. It is the Scattered Springs. It's not hard to miss on the map. It's the blue thing here. But again, I do recommend rather going to the Sinner's Refuge. It's easier, it's closer, you get just enough, and you can just you can keep going back to get more. Well, I hope that helped you guys, and if you need any more tutorial videos, let me know what you want to know down below, and I'll try and get to it. Now, I know this game has been around for a very long time, and there are a lot of tutorials online that show you these things, but my audience is fairly new to this game, and I'm pretty sure they would like it coming from me. So that is why I do these things, and whoever else comes along, that's great, I hope it helps you out. Uh, if you are new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Uh, I do streams on Conan and Seven Days to Die quite regularly. And uh, yeah, I hope to, to see you guys in the, the live streams and all that. Bye everybody, check you in the next one.